that you want an automatic sweet berry farm that will give you a shed load of berries with almost no space taken up whatsoever, I'm going to show you how. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, in my Starter Farm tutorial series. We are continuing on our journey through the eight starter farms that I did a showcase for you a little while ago. The link for that video is in the description. Today, we're on episode six. This is the Sweetberry Farm. Now, sweetberries are actually a really interesting thing. They're good for making bone meal, they're good for food, and also they can give you a great amount of defense lots of utility in this one little plant and we can farm these using a clever little animal now it's important that you make this in a biome where foxes will naturally spawn if you do this in a plains biome you're never going to get this farm to work because there's never going to be any foxes unless you transport them for a very 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 long way away do it in something like a tiger biome or something like this because it is going to be so much easier for you i'm not i'm going to do it where all my other small farms are because i want to do a world download at the end but make sure you come somewhere like this the way this farm works is a fox sits in there with a load of sweet berries. Sweet berries is a fox's favorite food. So as soon as it gets to the final stage, the fox runs at the berry bush and jumps on those berries, chewing them off. It will keep one for itself and it will drop any others. Those others will be collected with a mine cart with hopper underneath because that will suck blocks through the dirt and it will be collected inside that barrel there for you to use for whatever it is you want. For this farm, you are going to need very little, to be honest. One barrel, and it really does need to be a barrel. One hopper, two powered rails, five normal rails, two levers, one minecart with hopper, seven dirt, 19 oak logs from your wood farm from episode one, and 51 glass. You don't have to use oak logs. You could use stone if you want from the stone farm. Like all the other tutorials in this starter farm for Minecraft series, we are going to do it as if we're in survival. For block breaking, I'm going to stand creative, but I'm not going to float around. It's as if I'm in survival. Dig yourself a trench three by one, exactly like this, and pop yourself in a barrel. It is important that this is a barrel because if you do a chest, this isn't quite going to work. Then put a hopper pointing into the back of that barrel and place yourself using shift click a block that you've got from your wood farm, which was in the first episode, on top of the barrel. That's why you need it to be a barrel, because if that was a chest, it simply would not work. Then get yourself a powered rail, shift click on top of the hopper, and then count one, two, three, four, and five, and then grab another powered rail and pop it there, and finally another wooden block and pop that there. That's the entirety of your collection system. Now grab yourself a lever, pop a lever, on the side there don't turn it on just yet and put a lever on the side there do not turn it on just yet and minecart with hopper really important minecart with hopper not just a standard minecart and put it on that end that is the collection system finished now grab yourself some glass this actually does not have to be glass but i like it to be glass because i like to see the minecart with hopper running backwards and forwards along this track so you need one two three four five six and seven bits of glass and then come on the other side and do exactly the same one two three four five six and seven that is perfect then get yourself some oak log and pop an oak log on the end there and an oak log on the end there. Now, one of these oak logs is gonna be temporary in a moment, but for now, it's there to enable us to put dirt on top of these tracks. That will allow the minecart with hopper, and only a minecart with hopper, to suck anything through this dirt into the minecart with hopper, and when it goes over that hopper there, it will suck it into that barrel. Very simple. Then get yourself on top of the glass, another row of the wood it doesn't have to be wood i'm only using wood simply because you've got a wood farm right and as a result you can use that wood to build this up you could of course take stone from your stone farm and use that instead come to the end of the row that's got the barrel in it that's the bit with the hole and jump up two more high with whatever block it is you're using i'm using the wood so i'm going to carry on the wood if you're using stone you use stone get glass this time and this really ought to be glass and do a two high row along all of these like that and then come and come and do another two on this side as well do not put 
any wood on top of this as yet. In fact, for now, knock that block off. I did tell you it was going to be temporary. And then you want to put a bit of a lid on here, but not quite. Sweet berries on each of these seven. That is perfect and allow them to grow up. You then want to put glass blocks across the top. So there, that one can be temporary. And then come two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you can jump down because you're done up on that roof. It is all sorted. You just need to wait for those sweet berries to grow. Once those sweet berries are grown, they will become very attractive to your average fox. Now, the reason for that is sweet berries are basically the fox's favorite food, one of their favorite foods, and they will drop other foods in favor of coming to find sweet berries. And they'll actually sprint to get to sweet berries from quite some distance away. This is why it's easier to do this in a natural biome for the foxes to spawn in. I'm not in a natural biome for the foxes to spawn in because I want to be close to all the other farms so I can give you a world download at the end. But if I pop a fox here, sometimes they'll sprint in really, really quickly. Sometimes they'll take forever, but you just have to basically lay in wait. That fella's gone the other way, but he will eventually, I would hope, jump into the sweet berries. If the foxes do get a little bit stubborn, and sometimes they do, make sure that you can build yourself just a little bit of space around the entrance to your sweetberry farm and with a lead pull in this fox to the sweetberry farm it's important that it comes inside the farm like this and then attach it to the post then you can what you can do is you can come along and box it in now you can make a lead quite easily you do need four bits of string and one slime ball so whilst this is the starter farm go and find a swamp stay there at night time slimes will spawn on large areas bash them until you kill all the little baby slimes that pop out the bottom of them. You'll pick up the slime balls. You only need one to make a lead. So it isn't that difficult. Once you've done that, take the fox off of that lead and it will eventually go into the berry farm. It might even pick up the lead for you at the same time. Once the fox goes into the farm, build it up so as you've got your glass covering up this end. It shot straight in there, you can see. It wasn't at all perturbed. The second I gave it access by removing that fence post, it was very happy to go in. You can then remove all of these bits out of the way. Just like that, and you've actually got yourself your finished farm. Now all you need to do is turn on the levers at each end, and that minecart will start to go backwards and forwards and collect anything that's on the floor. You'll notice the barrel is empty, I turn that on, away goes that hopper minecart, does a couple of runs. The barrel now gives me my lead back, plus I've already got three sweet berries. So we're gonna let this run for a few minutes. Barrel is re-emptied again. We're gonna see how many sweet berries we can get in five minutes. So I'm just literally gonna sit and watch this for five minutes and see how many sweet berries we get. Remember, this is not a high impact farm. This is the kind of farm that you just let sit and get on with itself until it's uh, basically you need to collect up the sweet berries. It's not gonna give you a bazillion sweet berries an hour, but it is nice and reliable and that fox will just carry on for days. Let's start the clock now. So that is pretty much bang on five minutes. So I'm gonna turn off the minecart so we don't get a false reading in case it eats another one whilst we're looking. And in the barrel after five minutes, we've got 11 berries. Okay, that's not too bad actually. So in five minutes, that's 11 berries off of seven bushes. So given that you've got 12 lots of five minutes in an hour, it's not unreasonable to extrapolate that out to say that you get 132 berries per hour, which if you think about it, is pretty much two stacks, give or take the odd berry or four. So two stacks of berries an hour from this small farm. Please remember that increasing the number of berry bushes with a single fox actually has minimal increase to the number of berries you get because the fox only bites the berries off when it wants to. However, if you increase the berry bushes and the number of foxes, you can get a lot more berries you could have a much larger farm. You only need to get two foxes in there and then you can just breed them up with the sweet berries that they're collecting anyway. And you will collect significantly more sweet berries an hour. This guy's been rolling for about three minutes. We've already got nearly a full stack of sweet berries, which is absolutely amazing with six foxes. The more foxes, the more berries. That is a really easy and simple sweet berry farm that you can set up with very little resource. I'll put the world download 
in the description below for that larger fox farm that I showed just a moment ago. And the world download for this world with all of the eight starter farms will come at the end of the series. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying them and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.